Counting one of
250 from the 300. I've got 54 and these about 3450. Show my 200 units here. The cost of this sold is going at this column that says sales goes to 8850 plus the 6000 is the 14850. Okay? Everybody okay on that? Okay, now, going to do the same thing on FIFA. First day and first day. So we take the same problem here with FIFO. Here's that 380 at 15. We purchased another 270. So at this stage, we're exactly the same as we are at FIFO. But when we sell 500, first day would be the 380 at 15. So then I need another 120. I'm going to get it off of this 270 at 20. So 120 at 20 will give me 8100 here. What I've got left, I take the 120 off of this. I only have 150 at 20. Then I buy 300 more at 24. So now I've got my two layers: the 150 layer, the 300 layer. So that when I go and I sell 250, so when I'm selling 250. I'm going to pull first in would be the 150 at the 20, and I need 100 off of this 300. So 100 at 24. So what I have left, I simply just have 200 at 24. So I've used this one up. I take 100 off of that. 200 at 24. 4800. Add up my cost of this sold for 35. See that? So you just kind of go to the inspection and you're going to wind down. Now, one thing, you probably will see this on your homework problem or something. They will set sales and they will put the sales of being at $50 or something. Do not use that. That's just a selling price. And the only reason they do that is so that they might have you do like an income statement or something. You have to know what the sales are. You're interested in what it's winning as its cost. Because if you do that, you end up with a negative amount. I'll my ass in it. What was that? Life I'm going to put the, the review up for the test. Because so next week, also remember we will uh, open your homework problem next week for the test. So this will give you a call out of the Now, this, you should have gotten this in your email. You can see the red chart. You got 15 good laws, two points each. So you will know exactly what that is. You're going to have four multiple choice problems calculating in the inventory using an, in, an inventory method. Each one of these counts 10 points each. Now, remember, it's a multiple choice, so you'll have like three or four answers, oh, and you just pick out the one. So you, you can calculate any way you want to. And then you will have three multiple choice calculating the cost of your soul using an inventory value. And they are 10 points each. So you can see here, I've got 40, 70, and then 230. You already have my username and password. Now I can give y'all some true false ones. Want to hear some true false ones? You do have a password to my other Facebook account. No bonus on this. This one is so easy, you don't need a bonus. Really? You know, we are very good. I think I'm the only people that actually do the bonus of this are the ones that get charged anyway. The others just leave one. I didn't bet that. Thank <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, okay. 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 Okay, everybody ranges. When taking a physical count of inventory, the use of three numbers, inventory tickets, assist in the control process. What do you think that is? And we went over that tonight. Lipo, lipo, and... Oh, lipo, lipo. Alright. That is true. I'm on your own. That is true. Remember we... Sh and that they showed that thing on the PowerPoint. You know, the thing, the free number, that's important. I said you give it a, a bunch, one through fifty. You want to be sure that you get them back? Hey, you should change your profile. Okay. How about this one? To the last one? Incidental costs are often added to the cost of inventory, including import duties, freight, storage, and insurance. Okay, true. You hung up on that form. <laughs> okay. Just remember, the you know, majority of what I will tell you, the make majority of my information are actually true. I always say, if you don't know the answers, but everyone is true. Then you go get the majority of them, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs> somebody I think I did five or six, but... Uh, Alright, here's one. And this is strictly from reading the text. We did not cover it. But the inventory account is a controlling account for the inventory subsidiary ledger that contains a separate record for each separate property. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> what you have is that in the general ledger you will have inventory and then you have what's called a subsidiary ledger and you've got all these different products and, and all. You have a sheet on, on each one of those but just one control account for inventory. And particularly being a manufacturing thing where your inventory is raw materials in process and finished goods. And even though all you finish good, you want to keep a separate record of how many widgets do I have here and how many widgets I have here. But just one account for the ledger, so that's true. Okay, the advantage of the weighted average method is that it tends to smooth out the effects of price changes. It's true, Okay, that's true. And the four methods of inventory evaluation. Let me write these. I want to go. No, I'll just tell you what they are. <laughs> Four methods of inventory evaluation are FIFO, LIFO, average, and S I F O. SIFO. <laughs> yeah. <is> false. <laughs> yeah, that is false. What that thing is S I F O. So uh, that, that is false. I know you thought that was specific identification, just kind of looking like that. Keep going down. Okay. Very good. Keep going down. So, just, you know, since you guys, I think, what do you say you had? Oh, no. You got to get that in So, be sure you read the chapter properly on this. And know how to do it. You're done. Oh, wait.